For too many years, Redwood was on the back foot, constantly reacting to threats rather than preventing them. We were mice hiding in the shadows. No more. We are the giants now. Hey everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking more about Space Engineers, but more specifically I'm showing you one of my awesome Space Engineers creations. You've all asked for it, and I hope you can tell by the intro, because if not, yeah, it's the RWI Valiant. Yep, the ship you've seen quite recently in Space Engineers Conley Loss. Now if you've been around the channel for quite a while now, you will know the Valiant is not the first type of this creation I've done before, it's actually one model in a series of starships under the same classification. There's not much unique about this starship if you've seen the flagship, the RWI Apollo before, which is the same Daedalus class vessel, but I'm going to walk you around this today, show you what's all about it and uh, why I really like it. Yes, it's now available for download via the Steam Workshop below. You can click the link in the video description. Go download it. It'll mean the world to me if you can like it and favorite on the Steam Workshop page. That would be greatly appreciated. It does have to have a few mods included and a couple of DLC things, but we'll work without some of the DLC, so it's not a big all end all. You just need to make sure you get the mods in there. They are linked in the Steam Workshop page, and you can go and download them all. So today I'm going to be showing you around here, showing you some cool features you might not have seen in the actual YouTube videos from Conley Loss, because we don't really show all the details of it sometimes. And hopefully, um, yeah, we're going to be using this ship a lot more sometime soon for some events and stuff like that, uh, some community events on the supporter server. If you've not become a supporter yet, you can do via Patreon or YouTube memberships. That's that join button down below. I'm actually running a Conley Loss themed supporter server right now on Space Engineers for everyone. Head over to Discord if you want to learn more about that. But I know what you're here for. You want to learn more about this ship. So let's dive into it. Before I do though, many of you asked when the RWI Eclipse is coming out, it will be very soon. There's a reason for it that you haven't seen it on the workshop just yet, but don't worry, it will be coming out soon. Just keep patient with me. We've got some surprises for you and uh, yeah, look forward to it. Okay, so diving into this. This is of course the RWI Valiant, a Daedalus class vessel. Now I designed a Daedalus class quite a few years ago, probably in the tail end of 2017, going to 2018. The first one was the RWI Phantom, which is the uh, sort of second in the class. First was the Daedalus, which you don't really see. Then we have the Osiris, which is number three. The Apollo, which is number four, uh, which you've seen before and is on the workshop if you want it. And of course, now we have number five, the Valiant. So let's take a look around. What kind of makes a Valiant unique is your question? Well, nothing massively changed from the Valiant's design for when you see the Apollo. If I had comparisons here, I would show you. Obviously, the big zero, number five over here, you can see that. That kind of uh, makes it obvious this is number five on it. And we've got the Valiant nameplates over here. A few upgrades have taken place. For instance, some of the weapon ports in here now are all plumbed in. A lot of more of this is made to work in survival as we had to make it work in it. So you see weapons also all plumbed in there. I use plumbed in as just a saying. So yeah, this ship was made to work in survival a bit more than the Apollo. So if you want to play with this in survival, uh, you're going to have a better like fun time of this because a lot of the weapon ports are actually connected in. So it's all working correctly, which is quite nice. So obviously the thing that Valiant, you know, does really well from is its main weapon up here. This is using the MWI or Mexpex Warfare Industries weapons, as well as the Battle Cannons and Turrets mods. You can find these linked in the video description via the Steam page. Obviously got PDCs, the Vulcans up here, then we've got a big side cannons here as well. Now of course the Valiant is designed to be a battle carrier or battle cruiser, so it's got some heavy hitting firepower, and of course it has its hangar pods over here as well. We have a port flight pod here, and also our starboard flight pod. I'll give you the interior tour in a memento, and we can take a look around at what's cool in there. We also got our main engine drive at back here. Nothing much realistically changed from this on the Apollo. Being seen, we've obviously got our giant hydrogen engines again. One upgrade I'd like to make in the future is definitely adding a couple of PDC turrets around here so we've got more of a rear defense because that's something we really do need. And we've got some like, cannons up here, but they're not enough. Now, speaking of cannons, we've actually got quite a few underneath here. So, obviously, the Valiant and the Daedalus class are designed to be command ships. These, in cinematic mode, can fly in atmosphere. Obviously, in survival, do not take this thing into a planet's atmosphere. It will not last that long. The idea was this thing could fly down a planet and operate as a command ship, and those bottom cannons there would do really well for orbital bombardments and that. Obviously, the weapon range in SC isn't really made for orbital bombardments, but you kind of get the idea. A disclaimer, this ship is made for cinematic purposes, therefore not all the features will work in survival as intended, and it may not fully work to how survival is intended. Just keep that in mind, this is typically made for YouTube videos and cinematics, therefore you are going to run into some complications when it comes to playing with it in survival. 
Hopefully, some of you can play it in survival. I would love to see what you can do. And if you do manage to make it your ship in survival or build it in survival, do send me tweets on Twitter. That's at CaptainJackYT, Facebook, which is CaptainJack, or just to my Discord server as well, which is discord.gg slash CaptainJack. I would love to see what you can do with these creations. Anyway, I know what you'll want. Let's do the interior tour. So I'm going to start on the bridge. We've got up here. So this is our main bridge. Um, for context, the bridge is just about here. So it's nicely buried in the hull here. Um, you probably said say the windows are a tactical weakness. But then again, the way it's buried in the hull, not so much. Also, RP, cinematic, I want a view outside. So here's the bridge. We've also got the captain's chair here. You can sit down. Hello. Uh, we've also got our nameplates over here. These will be included on the workshop. They're part of a Redwood collection. And I'll be able to download there so you can get them. This is actually a custom block. Uh, my graphics designer is Alex Design. And then my modder, First Officer Ed, created this and put this in the game. The uniforms also do come with you see i'm currently wearing the eclipse one i'm not sure whether these eclipse uniforms are in the pack yet but when we release that ship they will be now of course we've got a helm position over here ops position the screens eventually we're going to develop some sort of lcd our own textures to go on there so that'll be coming very soon and obviously we've got consoles over here we've got a red alert mode which i'll show you in a second in fact i should show you now uh, there you go. That's our red alert mode. We did upgrade it later on, but uh, it's still pretty cool. LCDs over here again. Sometimes I change these to red alert LCD just for a dramatic effect. I like it. Holo table, vanity sign there. There is a lot more I probably could do this bridge, but I currently like the design layout. I probably could make it a bit more cozy by having some armor struts going up here. But uh, like I say, I like it at the minute. It fits well and uh, does the job. Right, let's show you the CIC. So this is CIC. Ideally, this should be more buried in the hull. Uh, our later starships, it will do, especially the next version of the uh, sort of like big Redwood starship I'm planning, which will be the Odyssey class. Yep, you've just got a sneak peek. That's what's coming next. It was going to be another one of these called the Odyssey, but I'm going to do the Odyssey class instead, which can be like this, but bigger, better, and uh, learning from what we've done here. CIC consoles all in here. The CIC could be revamped a little bit more. It's kind of just basic and gets the job done in my mind. Right, here's the main sort of stairwell of deck one. We've also got the ready room over here. Captain's ready room. Things are going nicer here. Obviously, you've got armor locker, the captain's desk. So, Captain Hunter will be sat here. He's also got the models of the Defender as well. Uh, this is a custom made block by my modder, First Officer Ed, using the Defenders. For those who don't know, the Defender is like the core starship of RWI. So, that's kind of why it's so iconic. Right, let's go down to deck two. So, we go down the stairwell here. I did like an elevator, but it's just kind of unpractical in SE, so we just have stairs instead. And they kind of fit here. Now here's the hangar inside here, down there, but I'll show you it in a minute in the engine room over there, but uh, we'll do that last. I think there's a script running, it auto closes doors at the minute. So you've got port hangar access there, starboard hangar access. Now these are the blast doors, I put these on um, most parts of the ship. I just like having this sort of cinematic RP effect, you know, closing blast doors as your ship's breached. Kind of what I like, so I wanted to include it in here. So obviously that. This is the main corridor, now rooms down here, you've got a few things, sort of CO quarters. Kind of undecorated at a minute. I leave this here because, again, it's made for cinematic RP, so we'll decorate it when and where we need. Guest quarters in here. I need to update that sign later. Uh, SE changed something recently with text, so all the signs minimized. Over here, you have the XO quarters and another guest quarters, so kind of just the same. Now, along here, we've got another room, which I believe is just yep, another quarters. You probably could put this a laboratory or something else. I don't know. There's tons of stuff you could put in there, realistically. Ta-da! Tons of stuff. Yay! Right. So we've also got another stairway down here. This leads down to deck three, but we'll go down in a minute. I'm going to walk through this sort of subsection here. Got this blast doors in here. I thought the corridor didn't need to be open the whole time, and I didn't want to just put like another set of blast doors in. That'd be a bit OTT. Right in here, we've also got another stairwell going down to a cargo area, but I'll show you that in a minute. Armory in here, it's pretty straightforward. There's nothing in it. We'll put stuff in there later. You can decorate that when and when need be. I'm using these grand down catwalk blocks here. I really like the design detail they bring out, and it just looks really well. Using the new offset doors as well. We've got aux control in here, a couple of cargo containers, air vents, and obviously then uh, auxiliary control up here. This will control the main cannon, and you've got a few diagnostics going up here as well. Uh, I know it's just this Apollo, some of this still needs changing over, so don't worry, it'll be changed over before it does reach the workshop, so uh, keep that in mind. Right down here, one deck three, a couple of science laboratories here, so you've got one there and one here, so science lab one, science lab two. This here is like uh, sort of just a cargo area or storage area. You can store some stuff here for the science guys are working on it. Usually some freight will be found here or cargo containers. Kind of just quite cool. These is that stairwell I just showed you. You can unlock the blast doors via that. Ta-da! I'll probably unlock these in a minute. There you go. Running down here, we've got a couple more doors. So in here, we have got the crew quarters. So you can go up here. Ta-da! Crew quarters. Yay! At one point, I thought there was a kitchen in here. Uh, obviously not. So we just got the same on that side. Then we can go through to here. Boop. Uh, this is sort of like another laboratory. Again, not really much in it in a minute, as there's nothing to put in here. Laboratory on that side as well. I said laboratory, not laboratory. Just <laughs> it's a big toilet basically. Hangar access in here, as you can see, we can walk through here. Sort of like a staging area. I probably should put some suit things on here or something like that. It could be pretty cool. And then you can walk through here and bang! An RDBI Valkyrie is sat here. 
I will run around this side though in order to knock my head on it. So this is the main hangar of the Daedalus class, or the Valiant to be specific. And you can see here, a lot of stuff goes on here. You can fill pretty much this stuff or this hangar with a lot of things. So I've got fighters sat here at the minute, a couple of dropships as well. But you could have other shuttles, you could probably have like some tanks in here to take down. One thing I'd like is to make this um, sort of like carrier more friendly to carrying ground units. So that we're going to need to store them somewhere. We've not really got the height where the ship can pick up a tank and take it down. So I guess we'll have to find a way of that on the Odyssey class and go from there. But it's still pretty cool. See the Valiant down here, another airlock for hangar there, which is pretty cool. Right, I'll show you main engineering and then I will show you the flight pods. So we're engineering over here. Stairwell up to the second deck again. And ta-da! This is the main engineering. So we've got a core there. I'm really channeling that inner Star Trek vibe there of having like the FTL core pulsating. The thing in front of us, this is what we call the FTL drive or FTL core. It serves no game or survival purpose whatsoever as we actually have the drives up there. I just like it for detail and again for RP cinematic it's really cool. We've also got our main reactors over here, you can sort of walk in and stare into the green ring of death there. Kind of cool, more reactors back there, and yeah, see the has been updated there, got diagnostics. I don't think these diagnostic boards are actually working at the minute, they are kind of just there for dramatic effect. But we might get them working at a, at a later date and see what we go. So yeah, engineering is pretty simple, uh, I need to put a couple of stairwells in here at some point, a few finishing touches, but it is quite nice. Now we can go back this way, and if we go up the stairs, it'll take us to the engineering observation deck, which is here. So we've also got a shield controller in here. Shields are mounted on the ship, but uh, the controller's on standby, so we've not really got anything to put to it. Um, this is because we're locked as a station in a minute, so shields aren't going to raise. We've also got automatic LCDs trying to override this, but it's still quite cool. Uh, another LCD screen is meant to be around here at some point. There goes one there, one there, and you can get sort of an overview of engineering. I really like this window design. Uh, I probably will redesign it on another thing, so you've got more of a central design, but uh, I kind of like how it sticks out anyway, as it gives you a nice view. We've also got the FTL drives up here. So we're walking through here, ta-da, these are FTL drives, so you can imagine engineers walking along, welding these things up, and just generally doing maintenance when and where they need to. Pretty cool. Again, like I say, the whole ship is designed for RP and cinematic play, that's why you're going to see a lot of those things where typically you wouldn't want to work. Obviously, for typical SE combat, you're not going to want to bury most of your like, critical systems out in the open, you actually are going to want to like, you know, bury them in the ship. Right, let me show you the starboard flight pods. So both flight pods are identical, so I'll just show you one for this. But you can unseal the interhanger here. So when you're launching a fighters, you'd uh, seal this hangar door. Where have I found it? There you go. You'd seal this one so you don't actually vent the entire ship, as that would be a bit embarrassing. We can see here we've got a two or threes. These are coming to the workshop very soon. We've got a new version. I know many of you have been asking for a new version. Yep, they are going to be on the workshop. Hopefully today, by the time the vents up, if I'm ready. If not, they'll be up next week, and you can enjoy them then and there. So two or threes, you can sit in here and get ready to launch. And obviously, their doors. These doors can be controlled from anywhere on the ship. So typically, someone on the bridge would be controlling them. And obviously, you can launch out there, and the fighters launch. Yes, this is very much inspired by the BC-304 from Stargate Atlantis and uh, Stargate in general. The Odyssey and the Daedalus, obviously, the inspirations for this. Obviously, this is named the Daedalus class. So yeah, that's kind of the inspiration behind it. I hope you enjoyed this little video walking you through the Valiant. Uh, I'm going to do a battle video of it soon so you can get the idea of how well it fares in its battle. But like I say again, I know I've said it 101 times for this, I just want to stress it. This is made for cinematics and therefore is not as strong as your typical um, sort of SE starship you find on the multiplayer PvP server. We probably could make it survival friendly and heavy armor, but it would take away from some of the design aesthetic and uh, it wouldn't really be cool in my mind. So yeah, it's not something I want to do right now. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. Again, the download link is down below. Uh, so do go ahead and enjoy it and let me know what you think of it. In the meantime, I have been Captain Jack. Thank you very much for watching this. Let me know your feedback and comments via the comment section below. And I will, of course, catch you very soon. Goodbye.